Hello, my name is Cheyenne and this project proposal is for the creation of place-based curriculum and bioregional short story to enhance place engagement for middle school age students in Wenatchee, Washington. As students are becoming increasingly disconnected from the land, it is important to reintroduce them to the natural world in order for them to build relationships with the environment. This project will consist of creating place-based curriculum spanning over 90 minutes, along with writing, illustrating, and publishing a bioregional short story titled A Bioregional Tale by Micah. These products will serve as a tool for Orchard Middle School and the Wenatchee Value Museum in order to enhance students' exposure to environmental education. The project aims to establish a sense of place within students through place-based learning focused on bioregionalism activities, which are the initial steps that will allow for students to reunite with the natural world. Place-based education aims for people to connect to both the natural and built world around them. Bringing awareness to environmental issues that impact their valued environment and subsequent action to improve and sustain it. Place-based education is an introduction to a global perspective, beginning with developing the students' abilities to connect with their natural surroundings and resulting in the application of these lessons to address large-scale environmental issues. Many scholars have found that place-based education encourages pro-environmental behavior and corresponding emotions, attitudes, and behavioral intentions that help students create lasting environmental habits. However, place-based education is still largely uncommon and insufficient in the school system. Due to this, it is important that students are intentionally provided with materials, activities, and resources that can help them to establish a sense of place as an entry into environmental education. A sense of place refers to the relationship of humans to place and can be better grasped through a bioregionalism approach. The concept of bioregionalism is defined as an inclusive and openly perceived approach to incorporating human activities with the natural world, integrating ecological, political, social, and philosophical issues. Bioregions aim to deter away from political boundaries and social constructs and are instead defined by physical and environmental features, such as watersheds and terrain. They follow diverse ecosystem types, creating natural boundaries rather than human-made landmarks, such as city limits. Bioregionalism encourages the reconnection of students with the natural world through application of a sense of place and helps in conveying place-based curriculum. This project will center on the re-establishment of students' relationships with the environment through exploration of their bioregion and embracing re-inhabitation, which is a concept that emulates building a compassionate relationship with one's bioregion. The location where this project takes place Wenatchee, Washington, which sits on the eastern side of the Cascade Mountains and forms the bioregion of focus, does not actively incorporate environmental education in public schools. A study found that 53% of schools in the state of Washington offer some form of environmental education in at least one classroom, which suggests that further improvement is necessary. Orchard Middle School and the Wenatchee Valley Museum, the partners for this project, indicated a need to incorporate environmental education into their institutions, which created a space to develop the place-based curriculum and bioregional short story for students of 11 to 13 years old in this area. The products of the project materials will allow for an opportunity to fill the void for place-based curriculum that is being experienced in this region while creating a tool for students that does not presently exist, the short story component about the natural history of their bioregion. The objectives of this project are that by the end of the lesson, students will be able to define the terms bioregion and sense of place, identify five features that define the bioregion where they live, write one paragraph about the natural history of their bioregion, and develop an overall awareness of the natural environment that leads to active participation in environmental resolutions. These lesson objectives will aid in students' understanding of building relationships with the places where they live and visit 
in order to truly respect and appreciate the land. The place-based curriculum will increase students' knowledge about their home and increase their likelihood to take local action that supports the environment on a small and large scale in the future. To successfully achieve this project, it is important to focus on developing products that specifically describe the attributes of a place through addressing the geography, sociology, ecology, and other processes of this bioregion. The materials of this project will be multidisciplinary and concentrate on fostering connection of place with self and community in order to derive the best results. The curriculum aspect of the project will not only include the reading of a bioregional tale by Micah, but also other activities surrounding the concepts of developing a sense of place and comprehending a bioregion. The discussion portion of the curriculum introduces terms such as bioregion and sense of place and will help the students to better engage with the material throughout the lesson. This interaction will allow for an introduction to localized relationships that enhance a bioregional connection and present the idea of building a sense of place. The discussion of these terms will enable students to understand that it is important to mindfully interact with the earth in a mutually beneficial manner for humans and the biosphere. The activity portion of the curriculum includes sound mapping. Students will find an outdoor sit spot, which is a location from which nature can be observed, where they will listen to the sounds around them and draw what they hear on a worksheet, artistically portraying their experience in nature. This activity creates an aesthetic experience that is activated by interacting with nature, resulting in the improved pro-environmental behavioral intention of an individual. The partners also just approved an activity that will focus on tree identification of trees native to this bat region, which will be incorporated into the curriculum as another activity in addition to sound mapping. After the activities, students will read a bioregional tale by Micah as a group. The wrap-up activity involves students writing their own bioregional tale, which enables them to unite all aspects of the materials. The short story a bioregional tale by Micah will be written, illustrated, and published for the purposes of creating a fun narrative of how the bioregion where students live came to exist through the exploration of the bioregion's natural history over the last 15,000 years. This is told from the perspective of a diorite rock named Micah that has lived in this bioregion for thousands of years. As bioregionalism can be challenging to comprehend, the short story offers a tangible means of helping students grasp the term bioregion while learning how their own bioregion formed, which promotes citizenship with both natural and social worlds. This is important as it has been found that stories that feature place-based settings allowed for students to explore the concept of place in a relatable manner that led to deeper levels of dialogue and critical thinking. The majority of the work for this project will be conducted in an outside setting or other local venues and at meetings with partners either at Orchard Middle School or the Wenatchee Valley Museum. Along with this, it will be essential to acquire resources regarding creating environmental education lesson plans and information about the natural history of this bioregion. Gathering of these resources will take place at the local library, the Wenatchee Valley Museum, and other outlets. The general timeline for this project spans over three and a half months and will be divided into phases in order to create each section of the curriculum in a timely manner, along with the writing and illustrating of the short story. Throughout the creation of the project, it will be essential to gain input and feedback from Orchard Middle School and the Wenatchee Valley Museum in order to address any issues and ensure that the products being developed will be beneficial to the students who will engage with them. The teachers at Orchard Middle School can provide helpful feedback about concepts and activities that will be featured in the curriculum in order for it to be tailored to the students' needs. The Wenatchee Valley Museum will primarily contribute to input on the short story, as far as the accuracy of events discussed regarding the natural history of this bioregion, region, in order to ensure that it is accurate and enjoyable for its intended audience of middle school age students. When the project has been completed, 
the final deliverables will include a final draft of place-based curriculum and a published short story, a bioregional tale by Micah. Supplemental materials that will be required include a poster with key terms and an interactive map of this bioregion explored during the discussion, a worksheet for the sound mapping activity, and a worksheet for the wrap-up activity for students to write their tales. These materials will be delivered to Orchard Middle School and the Wenatchee Valley Museum to provide engaging activities that will assist with reconnecting students with the environment. A separate set of materials will be given to each partner in order for convenience. Additionally, these materials can continue to be utilized by the partners for several years with future students. Ultimately, this project will serve as a device to help students establish relationships with their natural surroundings and promote an active sense of place that will continue to develop throughout their lives. Place-based education is consistent with personal efficiency, responsibility, civic engagement, and other elements of positive psychological and social youth development, which this project has the ability to begin to enhance within students in this bioregion. Sustainable development at a global level can only be achieved if local regions where life takes place are first understood and relationships within them are created. Along with this, a correlation has been found between the strength of place attachment and willingness to assist with solutions for prospective environmental issues, suggesting that place-based education is essential to engage students with becoming the actors that are necessary in the world tomorrow. Establishing a sense of place within students through place-based curriculum and a bioregional short story will allow them to increase their ability to become these actors who will be stewards of the environment for years to come. The reinhabitation that this project will allow enables greater accountability to the natural world, which promotes students to embrace the necessity to construct an ecologically sustainable society. The knowledge itself is important, but it is more crucial that the knowledge be usable, which this project aims to accomplish through condensing the natural history of this area into an age-appropriate exploration of the student's bioregion. Environmental education is lacking throughout the school system. It has been found that the most educated nations are responsible for the greatest degradation of the environment. This illustrates a major flaw within the educational system that is the absence of adequate environmental education. Due to this, it is essential to introduce students at a young age to the environment through entry material, such as developing a sense of place and understanding bioregions, to foster their interest in the environment of their local area. The objectives of this project will include that by the end of the lesson, students will be able to define the terms bioregion and sense of place, identify five features that define the bioregion where they live, write one paragraph about the natural history of their bioregion, and develop an awareness of the natural environment that leads to active participation in environmental resolutions. Solutions to environmental issues must begin at a local level, and through promoting students to interact with their local environment while they are young, it provides opportunities that nurture these ideas and the accountability to take action to protect the environment. In turn, they can apply this knowledge to larger scale issues they encounter in the future. The creation of place-based curriculum and bioregional short story for Orchard Middle School in the Wenatchee Valley Museum, located in Wenatchee, Washington, will work to instill values of lifelong environmental stewardship in middle school age students.